Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, you can press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make these cards, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. Today I'd like to share with you my card designs using the new November 2020 sheet load of cards template from Call Me Crafty Owl. I love using these free templates when making cards. Her designs are always fresh and new and you can get your own free template by visiting her YouTube channel and the link for that is found in the description box below. So I am on her YouTube team, which means I get access to that template a little bit early and I can make some cards to show you how wonderful this template is. And so these are the cards that I created this month. And I'll just walk you through what products I used to create these cards in case you would like to purchase them and make these cards for yourself. Now there are other YouTube as well as blog and Instagram members on her team, and you can find all the information and links to the other team members in the description box below. So what I've done is I've used three sheets of six by six designer series paper from the Playing With Patterns designer series paper. So you can see that we've got a lot of those colors. We've got Purple Posy, Night of Navy, there's Coastal Cabana in here. You can see that pretty color here. Then we've got Crushed Curry and um, Calypso Coral. So those are the colors that are in this pack. And you can see that we've got a lot of those, those same colors on one side. And then on the other side, we add a lot of the, um, these are like the multicolor patterns. So you get more of that Calypso Coral and the Crushed Curry and the Coastal Cabana. And so I wanted to play around with these papers today and create these really fun cards. And so you can see how using those patterns within this rectangle here kind of creates a really fun card. And then we've used this stamp set comes from the Many Mates stamp set from Stampin' Up! And this just gives you a lot of little tiny greetings. So you get Just Thinking of You, Get Well Soon, Happy Anniversary, and then it's your day, happy birthday, you're just so fabulous, which is the one I used here. Congrats, celebrate, and thanks. And then you just get a little bit of um, some little sentiments to go along with those bigger ones. This is a really great stamp set. So then I've also used this really pretty ribbon and it coordinates really nicely with the Playing With Patterns designer series paper. And it's actually called Playing With Patterns Ribbon Combo Pack. And you get these three ribbons, a nice thin Knight of Navy, and then this, um, this purple posy and white. So you get a little bit of like a, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it kind of goes from purple posy and then whites in the middle and then purple posy on that side. And then this really pretty sparkly coastal cabana. So those all come together in a combo pack. And then the last thing I used are just some regular basic rhinestones, and I've added those around the greeting. So another thing I added to the card that's a little different than her design is I've added another layer of cardstock here. So my card base is white, but I wanted to add some purple posy here in the background, and I wanted it to be embossed. And I used the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder from Stampin' Up! And I just added that to the background, and I liked how it kind of helped offset that Knight of Navy rectangle there. So those are my cards. Now when I was done with my cards, I had some cardstock left over, and I thought that it would be fun to create some gift tags with them. And so I just took the leftover Knight of Navy, and I cut them into three equal pieces, and um, embossed them with that Tasteful Textiles embossing folder as well. And then I took the leftover purple posy that I had and cut that into pieces. And then the same with the leftover designer series paper. I just cut it in half. There were three strips, cut them in half at three inches and added them to my card. And you'll notice that they kind of are just free to move around. I thought that was kind of a fun effect for these tags. 
Then I used a coordinating greeting. So this one says, you're just fabulous and it's your day is on the tag. And then I can use these two together either for a birthday or just for somebody to give a quick little thank you gift and um, tell them how much that I appreciate them. And you can see how that design, even though it's just one of the single designs, coordinates really nicely with the card. So I have six of those to go with my six cards. And then I've just taken some simple white basic twine and tied them all together. And then when I add my gift into maybe a cellophane bag, I can tie it with this one of these coordinating ribbons, um, the tag onto the gift bag. So these are the projects I've created with the November 2020 sheet load of cards template from Call Me Crafty Yow. Remember, you can get your own free template by visiting her YouTube channel, and the link for that's in the description box, as well as links to all the other team members. So go ahead and check out the videos and the posts that they've created showing the projects they've made with the same template. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.